everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So Christmas is very, very, very much fast approaching now. I feel like this might even be my last or second to last piece of Christmassy content, which makes me really sad. But I wanted to get up this video this week um, because I don't know if you guys are, I definitely have been running around trying to get the last few stocking fillers bits for the Christmas Eve box, stuff like that. I wanted to show you what I've got for the boys in their stockings and their Christmas Eve box. I know everyone does this differently, but if you're doing it maybe for the first time this year, or you're just a little bit stuck for ideas, I just thought I'd show you what we're doing. So I'm gonna start off with what I have for in their stockings. Now their actual stockings have gone walkabouts. I need to ask Ricky where he's put them. <laughs> I can't find them. I think they may have gone back up in the loft with the decoration boxes. So we need to get those back down. They have like red um, uh, knitted stockings with their initials on. So the first things I want to show you are from the Gruffalo shop. And they have very kindly sponsored this little section of the video. So they recently sent us some bits that they wanted to surprise the boys with in their stockings this Christmas, which was so, so kind of them. If your children are as obsessed with the Gruffalo and other Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler books as mine are, these would be amazing because a lot of the things they do on the Gruffalo shop are personalized. So, for example, we have these pencil cases. Both the boys each have one, which is great because it means they won't argue over them. They're getting to the age where they're starting to argue over everything and want the same things. Um, so we have an Elliot pencil case and an Archie pencil case. These would be great for at home for them to just keep their own separate pens and pencils in. But Ar Archie will probably love to take this to school. They don't really need pencil cases in year one, not at Archie school anyway, but they're really lovely. And personalised stuff is great at school because it helps them recognise that it says a little bit more. I'll link all of the items from the Gruffalo shop and obviously the shop itself in the description box below in case you want to go and check it out. They also sent over this guy which is so cute. Obviously it's not personalised because this is a soft toy um, but this is the snail and the whale and this is the Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler story that is going to be on TV this Christmas day. So it's become like a little tradition in our house, um, well more than a tradition actually. We watch them every Christmas, obviously there's been loads now, the Gruffalo, the Gruffalo's Child, Stick Man, which is one of our favourites, and lots more. And this year is the Snail and the Whale. Um, it's on Christmas day, I, I believe about half past two in the afternoon, but I'll try and put it in the description box. Um, but we watch them all of the time. We've been watching them almost daily because they're on Sky, you can kind of like watch them on catch up and stuff. Especially Stick Man. We love Stick Man, we love the Gruffalo. <laughs> um, so he is so cute. And I'm actually gonna give this one to Archie because before um, the Gruffalo shop even got in touch with me, we bought Stick Man, a soft toy Stick Man for Elliot because he's his favorite, I think. Him or the Gruffalo. Um, so it was just so strange. So now Archie's got one, um, which I think he's really gonna love. So they also do these lovely soft toys. And then we've got a lunch box. Again, this is Archie and it says, you'll taste good as a midnight feast. So this is the Gruffalo's child and the big bad mouse. Um, I think he'll really like this again. He probably won't use it for school because he has uh, school dinners, but this will just be really nice for trips out and the summer. Um, and just, you know, putting a little picnic in. He loves having things like this. So he will really like that. And then the final thing from the Gruffalo shop I wanted to show you was this notebook. Um, and this says Elliot, which is so cute. It's got the Gruffalo on it. Um, both of them love drawing and writing. So I think a personalized notebook would be so lovely. Maybe this with the pencil case to go in a stocking would be such a lovely gift idea. But yeah, thank you so much Gruffalo Shop for getting in touch with me about that. The boys are obsessed. We have so many of the books. We read them most nights. Okay, so as for the rest of their stockings, I'm gonna start with what else is in Elliot's. So first of all, I've got him a new water bottle. Um, it has dinosaurs on it, which is self-explanatory. He loves dinosaurs. And this bottle was from Smiggle. It was quite expensive, it was 12 pounds, which I think is a lot for a water bottle, but it does some pretty cool things. So it pops up with the little spout like that. And it's also a water mister, um, which you can also lock so they can't use that function because I can imagine that could get quite 
annoying. But I think in the summer, he will absolutely love this. I've also got a water bottle for Archie, which I might as well just show you now. They're both from Smiggle, and Archie has a bigger football one. I wish I'd got him um, a mist one as well, because he would love that. But this one is cheaper. It's just your normal drinking bottle, both BPA-free, which is obviously really important. This one was um, £8.50, so they are pricier, but they're really good quality. And I think that's important for a water bottle because otherwise they break really easily and it's also not great if they're not BPA free. So we got those water bottles for them. I literally just realised there was no point in me showing you Elliot's and then Archie's because pretty much everything in them bar a couple of differences are exactly the same because they're both boys, they're both a similar age and they're just getting to that point where if we get them different things, the other one loses it. Um, so this is what we've got both of them so they both have a pj masks light up toothbrush i love to give them a toothbrush um in their stocking it's like a bit of a tradition i think a lot of people do that and i think practical gifts like the lunch boxes notebooks um drinking bottles in the stocking is actually a really good idea because it's not just things that they open and won't use again they're actually thoughtful useful things so they both need a new toothbrush so this is where the arguments may come in. One is Catboy and one's Gecko. Um, but I needed to be able to tell the difference between them. So I got them different ones. Um, they were like £2 they were reduced in boots to £2.40 or something like that. So it was really good. Um, and because I kind of got them because a lot of what else I've got is sweets. All Elliot has asked for for Christmas is sweets. He doesn't want toys, he just wants sweets. So today I picked them each up a really big bag of sweets from uh, Sweetie Heaven. It's a shop at Blue Water. It's been there since I was a kid. And it's like a huge pick and mix shop. Um, so they each have a pack of those, which will hopefully last them quite a long time. But they are like sweet freaks, like their dad. They love sweets. So I got them that week. Then I also got them the Classics. So I got some uh, chocolate presents, these were from Marks and Spencer's, I think they were like 60 or 80p. And then of course you have to have your little bag of chocolate coins in your stocking. These were a pound from B&M, so these were actually, I think they were cheaper from m and if, if I saw the right price. But anyway, they have both of these, and these, these just remind me of being a kid at Christmas, so I have to get those. Um, I also got them these a while back from Primark. They are Grinch lollies, so I guess they're like marshmallow with loads of sugar and sprinkles and terrible things on them. But they will absolutely go crazy over these, and I think they were a pound. So I grabbed them, they're still in there, I saw them today, if you're still running around getting bits and bobs. Um, I also have some candy canes, which I just kind of sprinkle between these, their Christmas Eve box presents, so they'll have a couple of those in there. And then just some random sweets and chocolates as well, like these Milky Bar, Santa's Workshop, you get six in there, so they'll just probably get three each. Some Cadbury's Fudge um, Minis. I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I must have two of these somewhere, so I've got those. And then um, I'm also gonna put, I might have to take them out of the packaging, um, but we found these little, that's not my, um, gift sets in Aldi I believe and you get the book and the toy for $6.99 so we pick these up um, so one of them's got that's not my snowman and one's got that's not my penguin Archie is a little bit old for these now because he's five but he actually still really likes them we've got quite a few of them and he does really like them and you know, they're very like they're the touchy feely books, but he can actually read the words, so maybe he could read his one to Elliot and stuff. So, anyway, we got two so that no one was left out. Then we also got these Ryan's mini like characters, they're basically like Lego, but they're Ryan's world characters. I'm pretty sure they were a pound or two. I hope there was no they were no more than a pound because there's literally like nothing in there, <laughs> but they love Ryan's world, they're obsessed. So they've each got one of those. I tried not to go too crazy on the um, surprise toys in their stockings this year to try and concentrate on things they actually could use and need. And then, I kind of messed up on this one, but I thought I'd include it anyway in case you have an older child. This was from Mankind. It's Heroes and Villains. So it's basically a trivia quiz game about like Disney heroes 
Star Wars heroes and villains and um, also Marvel and everything, I thought they were like going to be cards with different superhero pictures on them and villain pictures on them. They're not, they're just trivia cards, they were £3. So Archie might be able to get some of them right at the moment, but I think he's a little bit young. But anyway, I've got them, so I'm sure I'll put them in his stocking. And Elliot, we have a little dinosaur car that I'm just waiting for it to arrive, it's like really small. So that can be his thing, and then their stockings are done. And then I wanted to move on to their Christmas Eve box. So this has become a little tradition probably since, since Archie was young. What we did used to do is do a December box instead and give it to Archie and then Archie and Elliot as Elliot got a little bit older. Um, on the 1st of December their Elf on the Shelf buddy would bring it and it would have activities in to do through December because for a while I felt like a Christmas Eve box was a little bit pointless because there's not much time to use it. So I've kind of scrapped that idea a little bit now and I've gone more down the route of what most people put in a Christmas Eve box. So I have this box, it's really lovely. It was actually sent to me by Google with like a press PR product in it like a long time ago. But I'm just gonna decorate it and then keep this as their Christmas Eve box forever because it's actually a lovely wooden box. Um, and inside it, there is a pair of Christmas pyjamas for each of the boys. These are from Next. Um, Ricky actually ordered these as a surprise, I didn't even know. They're all personalised, so we've got like Mummy Deer and Daddy Deer, and then Archie and Elliot on them. Um, so they're really, really lovely. So they're each going to have their Christmas pyjamas, and the bottoms are tartan like this. Then we also have a gingerbread house kit, which I think they're going to love. I like to put one activity in here, give this to them maybe in the afternoon, um, just to give them something to get to keep them going through the day because they just get so excited and um, like so, they just can't wait for Christmas basically. So this was, I think, five pounds or six pounds from M&S. You can get them in most supermarkets for varying prices, but I think they will really like helping make that. Um, also, we picked them up both a pair, or well, two pairs actually, of Christmas socks. My boys are obsessed with novelty socks, they love them. Um, Archie's actually got a pair of my Christmas socks and he wears them all the time, not just at Christmas. So I thought we would get them these to wear for Christmas Eve and beyond. Um, these were from Lidl. <laughs> they were really random, we just picked them up one day in there. We got them each um, a pack because again, they probably argue over the colours and stuff. I can't remember how much they were, but they were really inexpensive. And the blue ones will actually go really nicely with their pyjamas, so that will look so cute on Christmas Eve. And we have a book to read on Christmas Eve. Like I said, we do read like our classics, like Stickman, because that's quite a Christmassy Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler book, but they, they already have it, so I did want to get them one new book. Um, and this is How to Ride a Polar Bear. I really love these Albie books. So I picked that up, I think it's a new one. So we've got How to Ride a Polar Bear. And then also in their Christmas Eve uh, box, we have new mugs. So I found these, I think in B&M or Home Bargains, one of the two, and they are superhero Marvel mugs. So one has Spider-Man, one has Iron Man. Hopefully that will be okay. Um, and I've just put a little candy cane in each of them to stir their hot chocolate. So I was actually looking for the Christmas, like the chocolatey stirring spoons. And I looked in Marks and Spencers and Hotel Chocolat and I just couldn't find them. So if you know anywhere that's doing them, I could maybe run too last minute, let me know in the comments below. But if not, it doesn't matter. This is actually just a jar of our um, salted caramel hot chocolate out of the cupboard. Um, and we will make hot chocolates on Christmas Eve and cozy up and watch a film. And the reason that a film isn't in here is because, to be honest, a lot of the time we download a movie off of Sky or there are so many on there to watch for free at the moment that buying one on DVD is probably like a little bit of a waste. So there's not one in here, but we will get cozy in our um, Christmas pajamas, drink hot chocolate, build our gingerbread 
house. Was I saying gingerbread man earlier? I hope not. Um, and then read our book and hopefully get the boys to bed at a good time. Um, other ideas for in here is also putting a plate for Santa's like mince pie and a mug for Santa's milk or you may do like sherry or something that's what my mum and dad always used to do um and like a plate for rudolph's carrot and stuff so we do have their special christmas plate again i need to track that down and find where it is and that will go in the box as well and of course you can just do whatever works for you and your family and make it into a really lovely tradition tradition uh, that's everything that i wanted to show you i feel like that's kind of wrapped up everything now and I'm praying I don't have to go into any more shops to get anything else for this Christmas. So if you did enjoy this video I'd really appreciate a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching everyone, don't forget the links to the Gruffalo shop will be in the description box below and I'll see you again in another video very soon. Bye guys! Last year I thought about how things can